Yeah, and he set the record in 2018 for the most tries scored in a single Six Nations campaign. Seven it was. And look, for for a fleeting moment as you were watching uh, the try that Conor Murray scored last night when Jacob Stockdale got the ball out wide and instinctively he went to the chip and the ball didn't quite sit up for him. Now, it obviously sat up lovely for Conor Murray, but you kind of were wondering, was it a bit of a metaphor for how things have gone for Stockdale over the last few years? Because in 2018, that ball was falling right into his grasp when he was scoring a try and people were saying, what an unbelievable player. And it just quite, it just hasn't happened for him. Like I said, he's he's been troubled by injuries, loss of form. I don't think he's been helped by playing in an Ulster back line that hasn't really been firing. I mean, they're much more forward orientated, particularly last season. So it's been very difficult as an Ulster back to impress. Now, Stuart McCloskey obviously did it really well. But I mean, he's still only 27. I wouldn't be writing him off. And there's a reason why Andy Farrell has picked Jacob Stockdale in his squads um, as much as possible when he's been fit. Like I said, that moment in the game last night showed that that 2018 player is still in there somewhere. You know, I think his confidence has just been taking a hit and it's going to be absolutely massively dented even more now. But you have to trust Farrell's judgment. And I think when it comes down to it, I can totally see why he's gone for Keith Earls. And I think it was probably the right decision. But like you said, JD, that's not to say that Jacob Stockdale won't get called up and still play a role in France.